Since the beginning of life on Earth over three billion years ago, there have been a total of five major extinction level events. The most famous of these was the giant asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs approximately 66 million years ago. Now, another giant asteroid is fast approaching Earth once more. Will the asteroid Apophis be the end of mankind as we know it? Discovered on the 19th of June 2004, Apophis is named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos. Much like its namesake, the asteroid poses a devastating threat to mankind. If it were to impact with Earth, it would be the largest impact event in recorded history and millions would likely die. If Apophis does come crashing down to Earth, it wouldn't be the first large asteroid to do so in recent history. On the 15th of February, 2013, news outlets around the world broadcast footage of a meteor crashing down over the Russian city of Chelyabinsk. Measuring 20 meters in diameter, with an estimated initial mass of about 12,000 tons, the Chelyabinsk meteor entered the Earth's atmosphere with a weight heavier than that of the Eiffel Tower. Partway through the meteor's descent, the massive object exploded in a giant airburst, resulting in a large shockwave that shattered windows in six cities across the region. The total kinetic energy of the impact came measuring in at 500 kilotons of TNT, or around 33 times more powerful than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. About 1,500 people sought medical attention for injuries caused mainly by broken glass. In 1908, an event 60 times larger than the Chelyabinsk meteor happened over the sparsely populated eastern Siberian forest. This meteor impact, which has become known as the Tunguska event, is believed to have exploded in a similar fashion to the Chelyabinsk meteor, although this time the explosion and resulting airbursts released the same amount of energy as 30 megatons of TNT, or about 2,000 times more energy than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima. The shock wave from the explosion was strong enough to measure 5.0 on the Richter scale and flattened 80 million trees over an 830 square mile area. This makes the Tunguska event the largest impact event on Earth in recorded history, though much larger impacts are known to have occurred in prehistoric times. Fortunately, these meteor impacts resulted in few casualties as they occurred over rural, sparsely populated Russia. However, a similar event over a large metropolitan area could prove to be catastrophic. Apophis first raised eyebrows in 2004 when initial observations indicated a probability of 2.7% that it would hit the Earth or the Moon on the 13th of April 2029. During this period, Apophis set the record for the highest rating on the Torino scale, the scale used for categorizing the impact hazard associated with near-Earth objects. After additional observations provided improved predictions, the concerns about an impact in 2029 were disregarded, although Apophis will still pass us closer than most geostationary navigation satellites and will even be visible to the naked eye. This passing in 2029 has become known as the Great Encounter. Recent calculations taking the Yarkovsky effect into account suggest that there is a small chance of an Earth impact in 2068. The Yarkovsky effect is a force acting on an orbiting body in space, caused by the emission of photons. This force has the potential to push Apophis into a collision path with Earth, although the probability of a collision remains at a chance of 1 in 150,000 in 2068, and 1 in 110,000 before 2105. These may seem like insignificant numbers, however the chance of Apophis impacting Earth is about 100,000 times more likely than winning the lottery. Although unlikely, Apophis could impact Earth in 2068. 
If this were to happen, the effects would likely spell the greatest natural catastrophe that mankind has ever seen. The Apophis impact event is estimated to have a kinetic energy of 1,200 megatons, which is over 40 times the energy of the aforementioned Tunguska meteor. This would be like detonating 80,000 Hiroshima bombs at the same point all at once. The effect would be worsened if the meteor were to strike the ocean as a resulting tsunami would devastate coastal populations on a near global scale. Life as we know it would likely take millions of years to recover. Luckily for you, there are many agencies around the world looking out for asteroids and protecting Earth. But who is looking after your internet security? You'll be pleased to know that NordVPN exists and currently has a special offer for Elder Fox viewers. A VPN basically wraps a blanket around all your personal data, making it extremely difficult for people with bad intentions to access it. NordVPN is extremely fast with thousands of servers across the world and very simple to set up. You can apply it on up to six devices and it works both on Apple and Android. Get four months free and 68% off by following the link in the description below and using the code ELDERFOX at checkout. So what can we do about asteroids headed for a collision? The short answer is nothing in this moment. However, we do have time on our side. During an expert testimony to the United States Congress in 2013, NASA believed it would require at least five years of preparation to launch a mission to intercept an asteroid. On the 23rd of October 2020, a NASA sample return mission named OSIRIS-REx landed on asteroid Bennu. The aim of the mission is to collect material which is expected to enable scientists to learn more about the formation and evolution of the solar system. But the mission has also proved that humanity can successfully reach an asteroid in outer space. The remaining issue is how to eliminate the risk of an asteroid collision with Earth. The preferred method is to deflect the asteroid out of the Earth's path Alternatively, the asteroid could be destroyed by multiple nuclear devices or by experimental directed energy weapons. However, this would only create thousands if not millions of smaller asteroids, many of which would still be on a collision path with Earth. Although these asteroids would pose a significantly reduced risk to human life, the material cost of the damage may still be high. Such an event could wipe out hundreds of satellites, and in turn the Earth's communication systems could temporarily be shut down, meaning that this option would be only used as a last resort. A large asteroid impact is inevitable. It's 100% certain we'll be hit by a devastating asteroid, but we're not 100% certain when. The late, great Stephen Hawking reiterated these claims in his final book, claiming that an asteroid collision is the biggest threat to the planet. Hopefully, when such an event does happen, we as a species will be well prepared to deal with it. Click here to see the full six-year journey of the Spirit Rover on Mars. Thanks for watching Elder Fox. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell to keep up to date with the latest discoveries.